so this is a different video to what I had uh, planned. Um, today, all I'm really interested in doing is building a welding cart for my two welders. Um, so what I have is a I have two welders uh, and a larder that needs welding, and I need a way to move my welder from my garage in here to outside to my larder when I'm doing the bodywork. That requires a welding cart. It also needs to facilitate, love that word, facilitate two welders. So I've got my MIG welder, and then last year I bought a secondhand TIG welder um, for not a lot of money. Um, I, I think it's quite a rudimentary one. Um, it doesn't have the pedal. Apparently that means something. Um, not to me, because I don't know what it is. I haven't. I haven't I don't even know if it works actually, but you know it's quite nice to have a TIG welder and a MIG welder. Be even nicer to have one machine that does both, but you know, funds the needs must. Um, so this welding cart, um, the absolute bare minimum it needs to achieve is be able to be pushed out and pushed back in. It needs to hold the two welders, the MIG and the TIG. It needs to hold the two gas bottles that it requires, so like the um, argon mix um, and whatever the gas uh, no sorry the pure argon i think for the tig and then the mix for the uh, for the me um the bottles themselves i like this that's as big as i want to go or can afford and um so it needs to hold them too and it the nice the nicety of it what i'd like to achieve out of it is for it to hold um, a metal toolbox that I have, which I keep all the the welding gubbins that I have. So like the um, the brushes, the, the the pliers, the nibs, the shrouds. The I, I'd want to say welding wire, but I'm not actually sure it fits in that box. Um, that's all it needs to do. Um, before before the like I, I settled down to do this, I was watching, getting inspiration from other people on. Uh, on the YouTubes, uh, they all tend to be American, and they all tend to want to put the the whole world on this welding cart. Um, the things hanging off of it, draped over it, like all these, like the well, uh, the grinders and the hats and the everything. no, 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 no. I've got a garage, like I can, I can stuff that. I can hang up my my uh, welding helmet. I can, you know, in here. That's where all my power tools live. That's where the grinders live. Um, you know, the box is really enough for me, and obviously somewhere to hang the um, the the ones as well. Um, that's all it needs to do. Excuse the camera angle if you can. Um, this is as good as I'm going to get it. Anyway, um, right in front of me, a blank sheet of paper because this is what we need to. I say we, it's me that's doing it, so apologies for bringing you into this. Um, what I need to do, I need to just really have a rough idea about what I'm, what I'm building. So I need to stop the video here because I spend the next five minutes, maybe actually ten minutes, rambling about what I need to do. So the first consideration I have is that I have two welders. I've got a MIG welder and a TIG welder that I bought recently. As you can see on the screen, the MIG welder is slightly bigger in terms of uh, width and depth. So the welding cart has to be built to accommodate that one. Um, but of course, the MIG welder being the bigger one, the TIG one will slip in underneath it. As well for the TIG welder, I need to add 10 centimeters clearance uh, to the height of it, just so that if I need to get it out for whatever reason or put a new one in, it's easy to do so. Obviously, I'm building the cart to take these two welders but obviously in the future I might get a bigger one uh, I might even be lucky enough to get a welder that does both so you know I'm planning for the future a little bit here now of course I've got the TIG welder and the MIG welder um, both welders use uh, different different types of gas so um, I want to I want the cart to hold two bottles now we use a hobby weld bottle which is about nine litres the height of it's about 87 centimeters. The diameter, or width, uh, it's not really width, but you know it'll do. Uh, it's 15 centimeters. I want to hold two of these gas bottles on the 
the car at the same time. At the moment though, I'm only really doing MIG welding, so I'm only going to have the the Argon Mix bottle on there. But obviously, in the near future, when I get set up for the TIG, uh, I'll be able to employ another second bottle as well. With the two welders uh, sitting on top of each other and two gas bottles, that gives us a, a footprint for this welding cart of 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters. That's going to be made up of a square tubing that's 25 mil square and a thickness of 1.5. The flat bar that I use later on in the video is 6 mil thick. It really is just a scrap piece of uh, steel I had lying around. Um, I thought it'd be ideal for this application. So with all that in mind, you, we are going to end up with something like this. So as you can see on the left hand side there's like a shelf. The MIG welder will sit on top of that, the T1 will sit underneath it. To the right of that will be where the gas bottles live. These will be strapped to the backbone of the welding cart, which at the top of it will hold uh, the toolbox that I wanted to use as well to keep all my uh, welding things, uh, bits and pieces together. Now that I've settled on the design, I'm just going to get cracking with it. As you can see through the video, it's really just a diary of how I built it. I did. I have made mistakes in it. I also had some bit, bit of bad luck with the with the welder and having to go out and get a bottle of gas and things like that. If you skip to the end, the uh, the index is in the in the description. You'll be able to see the finished product at the end. So I basically moved on a little bit. Um, I've made my drawings. I think I can't remember. I showed them. Yeah. So from the drawings, it's like cutting the, the steel. I've um, already done one bit of welding over there. Um, I'll show you that later. And it's basically, basically this, you know, you'll have seen this on other videos, this is what I built years ago. Um, I need to redo the, the steel top on here because it's, it's not straight. So it's a bit curved in places. So I'm trying to use plywood and attaching it that way so at least the two bits there are square to the board and then make sure that this is square and then tack weld it so I'm going to do that off camera so I'm just putting the last bit on and um, what happened was sorry for the camera work it wasn't really um, wasn't square um, despite my best efforts something along here meant that uh, it was 50 centimeters outside to outside for here was about 51 so I've had to get the um, the clamp and, and pull it together like just bring it in so that it's uh, now 50 50 we're all good again Uh, right, one gas bottle later, and a few hours later, I might add, that is hot, why wouldn't it be hot? Um, there's my base, um, tidy up the wells, basically I was having a lot of feed issues, um, various reasons, as you can see, that's the point where I realised, oh, my gas has run out. So, next part, um, I will try and film this now. Um, I want a bar. I need to think, is this sort of bar? You can see, um, in my head, I've got the idea that it should go that way, across. Um, so cut, cut a section out of um, either side um, and do it that way. But I also found a bit of this tubing that I have for this for this table. So um, off topic, I want to have my vice on the table. But I the holes for it here and for here, and I had the idea of, you know, 
putting the holes in there. But as I said, I need to do that. But anyway, um, I'm not sure if actually doing it that way is a better idea. You know? But then part of me thinks if I if I have that there, you know, um, it could. I think I'll go with this. I'll go with the bar. I mean, obviously, if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, um, it's only my own fault, really. These are the welds we'll make in this next series of demonstrations. Overhead prepared butt weld. Overhead butt weld. Vertical fillet weld. Butt weld. Penetration. 
butt weld. Penetration. Well, that's the end of that. Um, as I said, I was having some wire feed issues. Um, and the long and the short of it is that. If I can. So this, this bit should live there, you know? And, um, well, things happened. I tried to change the nib, the little thing there. Uh, this, this little gizmo that sits inside here, uh, is threaded, um, on that side. And... The long and short of it is, gave it a tap. That happened. I don't know. Um, as I hit it, trying to, for if I tap it and the, the wire goes out. Except this came off. Um, it was already loose. I loosened it by accident, and it just yeah, it's bob. So, um, what time is it now? It's. 20 to 4 um, yes yeah, 20 to 4 I'm not going to have opportunity to go out and change this so that's it really is annoying yeah because because it's obviously like it's a machine mark welder and yeah gonna go on eBay and buy one and then next weekend right so my welder is fixed it's been a week um, and we move on so what I'm doing now is getting the the bars um, to go vertical on the cart did make a mistake in the last bit um, that you saw well I made a few mistakes but um, of the orientation of where the welders are going I said they're going this way but they're not they're going that way depends how bothered I am in the editing because I might not have I might have cut that bit out I don't know but anyway it's covered now so um, you can see here is I've cut a piece of the box section profile here so the idea is it's going to go in there it's a bit Cut a bit too much off. It's fine. It will do. Um, what you'll also see is that there's a big cut there and a bit of a, a bodge well there. That's because when I was doing this, I realised that this corner was down. Um, so to bring it back up, so they're at least more or less level. Um, that's just to fix it. So it's, it dips a bit here. I'm not too fussed about that. Um, it also means that my table isn't as as um uh, as level as I thought it was so I need to fix that after I do this. But anyway, I've also screwed this up. Um so mind the welding it's quite hard to do for me anyway to, to do this sort of welding here. Small bit. But the um the webbing I've got will go through that. I'm gonna go through it with the with the finger sander, I think that's what it's called. Um gonna give it a good old finger in so that it just removes the sharp edges from, from there. But all that is is just like the box section of um, this, which was uh, the roof bars from my RAV4. So it lives on. Um, so but the, uh, the problem is, though, obviously, I was starting to concentrate on this side, and I've obviously put the web in the hooks this side. This is where the, uh, the welders are sitting. The gas bottles are behind. So really, it should be that way, like that, and that'll be fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep the next one of these, and I'll film that, and then um, get cracking.
I'm not editing while I'm recording so I have no idea what you saw but as you can see that's the plan so we'll, we'll start at the bottom um, gas tank there the strap I need to put something in between here to obviously stop the the tank wanting to go that way um, as well as that uh, obviously we've got the the tray for the for the MIG welder to attach to this as well so a lot of weight going on this and she says he's wobbling I need to put, uh, reinforce it a little bit so I'm gonna stop the stop filming for a minute while I figure that out and I'm also gonna see if I have enough of this stuff to make to make a bar for the top so as you can see here to there I'd quite like to reuse the same stuff I think I might just have enough then again I might not I'm not sure I've done a lot and I didn't realize that it wasn't being uh, filmed as you can see pretty much done the base um, this was steel that I bought for the larder um, and kept in the larder when um, uh, while it was outside and uh, yeah it's fuck all good for anything um, you can see the rust was quite advanced on it unfortunately so I need to buy a new sheet still but it's good enough for this that's all that matters um, I'm tidying up the wells around here not the best work not the worst work because it you know doesn't matter as long as it's going to do the job um, I've ran out of uh, the this stuff so um, I have hoops there for one bottle hoops there for another nothing at the top here but at least the bottle can rest against this now and um, be uh, be secure I've only got the one bottle as well so it's not going to be the biggest, biggest of issues to begin with um, I can just wrap the um, the webbing around here around this bar and it'll be, be good um, so what I'm doing now is the next part is to build the um, little bit of platform for the MIG to go on. The TIG will sit here. Um, so while, I, while I've got nothing in the way, I'm just going to knock the rust back and just tidy everything up a little bit. So the welding is finished. I've got my Method 8 spirits. And I've just been wiping the surface clean ready for paint um more or less finished i think the toolbox was a, was the last thing um ignore the camera angle like so it's all i can do at the moment but as you can see here i've got two two bars there and i've drilled holes in them idea being once it's painted i'll put some holes in the bottom of this and bolt that to the um to the frame um and that would mean it's you know have my toolbox on the top but the first thing i need to do now that i've um cleaned it with the meth methylate spirits is use this um you may think that's uh it's a bit overkill but i opened it when i was doing the larder um and didn't realize there was a hole at the top of it um, even though it's quite clearly says at the top ventilating hole I thought that was just the lid um, so I want to see if that paints any good still um, if not I've got some red oxide somewhere I'm just gonna slather this on and then um, paint it and then it should be finished <sighs> well the hat's on because uh, it's a little bit cold and I'm missing my curly hair for all the warmth it used to give me but um, better news, I've I've practically finished my uh, welding cart. So do you want to have a look? Look at it! Everything I wanted, and not much more than this. Something with 
with a short, with a small footprint achieved, I think. And it's something I can move about relatively easily. Um, there are a few drawbacks at the moment. Most notably, where I hang my my little wand, my torch. Um, I wanted to leave it after everything was in position, which it, everything is now, um, more or less. So uh, I, I'm going to have a think about it now. Obviously, when I go use it on the ladder, I will use it uh, just to just see what works really um, that's the first thing second thing is toolbox everything that I need is in here and no more so boxes are from Lidl um, only issue is, is that the, I've um, bolted it through as you can see but they're, they're not the screws I want, so um, I need to source some, they're just too small, they're, they're uh, M8 bolts that, I've, that I want, and I just want it so that it looks a bit more sturdy, I mean the, the bolts that are on there are going to hold it, regardless of what I do to it. It's just more for completeness sake. Um, now the straps, I was, if we go into the mess that is my garage at the moment, I was going to use these with these, but these aren't gripping. Good grief, it gets worse and worse. Um, so what I've thought about is um, trying out ratchet straps. So that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, well, this is only a temporary measure because I need two and these are slightly too too thick. I want 25 mil, these are 27. Um, but, uh, you know, I measured it again. That bottle will go there, another bottle will go there. Um, these will be a problem, I think, but I can sort that out near other time. When I do start doing the TIG welding. Also, what will go here... Um, in between the two gas bottles will be the, uh, the the welding rods for the TIG so they'll be kept on there what else have I missed um, I think that's pretty much it apart from the colour as you can see I've opted for the red um, this is just uh, what is it bicycle handle grip type um, just something to, to hold on to make it look nice and feel nice um, the one thing that did that did happen to me is that the um, you can see you can see brush marks because the paint I had the um, jump cut I ran out of that stuff. But what I hadn't done at all, I had done practically two coats on the um, on this bit on the top bit, hadn't done anything underneath. Only paint I had was red spray paint. So as you can see here, I just painted the whole bottom of it um, in red. But it also means it's quite thin, quite delicate looking. Some people would find it sexy. So I'm gonna call this a stiletto, or the stiletto, sorry. So there you go, a welding cart stiletto. Um, one regret I have is that I welded the casters on. What I should have done was I should have bolted them. Because while well, they say that this diesel holds 300 kilos, I think, um, I have my I have my doubts. But who cares? I mean, if if they break, I can just undo the welding and cut them off and put some more sturdy ones on. I wasn't limited with the height so much as the whole thing. It's only limited for height for the bottles. But yeah, I think I've done, I don't think that's too bad of a job. Um, 
yeah everything is there everything I could possibly need nothing is hanging off the side of it he says you know what I mean the, the, the other ones I've been looking at the you know they're much bigger than this and they have the, the whole kitchen sink on and it's not something I really wanted to get into like hanging um, hanging angle grinders and whatnot off it I think this will do me there we go that's my that's my stiletto um, my welding cart one thing I mentioned I forgot to mention was that I need a strap to hold that onto the to the frame there I also need to plug it in before I do any welding but yeah it's the first bit of you know welding or creating something that isn't involving a car so I'm quite I'm quite chuffed with it really um, I think it's quite different from what the rest of what's out there as well on the internet everything's so bulky you know the, the, there are merits to that um, I just don't have the space I'm, I'm quite you know obviously if I cleaned up it would make a bit of a difference but it wouldn't make enough of a difference for one of them massive uh, welding carts in my um, in my garage and it serves a purpose of getting my welder from in here to out there when I'm welding the ladder so anyway Thank you for watching. I hope it's been inspirational for you. Hope you've learned something. I hope you've learned not to do a few things. Um, there will be a test. Um, I'm going to stop myself here again. There's a running theme with my videos where when I'm filming them, I really don't know how to end them. So I thought I'd do this in, uh, in the editing process. Thank you, honestly, for watching this video and for the feedback and the other viewpoints that you give. The likes and the subscriptions like that you know it's nice to see but this isn't what the channel's about the channel is just me putting out videos documenting the things i'm getting up to uh, i'm not playing to the audience as david barry would say so if you found this helpful give it a like give a subscribe tell a friend tell an enemy you know if you didn't like it let them watch it for 40 minutes and waste their time it's entirely up to you what you do with it but as I do generally mean this, thank you for watching and thank you for the support.